All right, we're just gonna jump right into it. Here is the kitchen. The kitchen hasn't really changed a whole lot, but we do have an oven now, and the cabinets are sort of going in. Uh, the uh, countertop is assembled and it's ready to go in, but I needed to finish this hole over here. Um, okay, let me show you guys. This thing right here, the pipe union, needed to have a metal shield on it. And uh, the inspector noted that this did not have a metal shield. So coming over here to the back room, nothing has really changed over here. Uh, some baseboards are done. I need more baseboards. But this room is pretty much done. And so I'm not really too worried about that. I did put in a garage door opener. There it is there. Another thing that I wanted to mention along with the plumbing inspection, I also had a building inspection, which the, they inspect the frame and everything like that. And they said everything here is okay because I have trusses up here and I can basically destroy all the walls in the house and the roof will still stay standing because trusses support themselves. So we're good here. I'm ready for the countertop now. Uh, the cabinets are going to go in pretty soon and the countertops on top of that. And I do need to finish these corners right here. All right, moving on. Here is the bathroom now. Everything looks pretty good. Almost everything is finished. I uh, just needed like a little bit of caulking over here. Uh, a little baseboard down here. Toilet works, sinks, sink works. The shower works, but I do need the trim ring. And again, still more caulking over here. Nice new light. Everything looks pretty good. It's usable, but it just needs a, a few finishing touches. New doors here. They were gonna be metal and I was gonna sand them and everything. They were the original doors, but I just couldn't get them to look good. So I got new doors. Now the inspector also said I needed a pan under, under my water heater. In order to get the pan in there, I had to take the water heater out and all this plumbing, water and gas plumbing had to be removed. And the main water valve for the house had to be removed as well. Uh, in order to take that out, I had to shut off the water for the entire house at the street. Well, the valve at the street broke. And then the city had to come out and replace the valve. So they had a, a big old hole and everything out there. I'll post some pictures. These are the two cabinets that are gonna go in this bathroom. But this is perhaps the biggest problem I had with the inspection. Now this pipe right here was not there originally. So I had this pipe here for the shower and this pipe, this two inch pipe right here, which is on the side, you can't see it, but those were originally there. And this vent pipe right here was not there. So I had to add that, I had to break up the concrete dig out the gravel and add that vent pipe and the reason why is if we're using the the laundry over here and somebody flushes the toilet at the same time what it's going to do is pull the water or the air out of the trap underneath the concrete and once it pulls out the water then you're going to start smelling sewer and stuff like that so that's not good so right now if you flush the toilet it's gonna pull air from here instead of the trap. And the trap is gonna stay with water, air. This is always gonna have air and the, uh, the toilet is gonna have air all the time. So that was this morning and everything is good to go now to cover up. I can go ahead and put the concrete board back on the walls, uh, put the concrete in the hole and I can start going now with the drains and everything for the shower. I can build the curb for the shower. Uh, I could put the flange all the way down on the on the concrete now and, and you know do all that stuff for the toilet. 
we actually had this more assembled than this. Um, we had the concrete board on the walls and everything. And then I was like, you know, I really want to do this in a legit way. So I wanted to pull the permits and then from there, everything stopped. It was like three month process. It's been maybe, I don't know, maybe four months because I, I submitted the paperwork and the guy sat on it. He got sick. And then it was like a month and a half later, they actually had it in the system. But that was only the building permit, not the plumbing permit. They want uh, the plumbing permits from investors like myself to come from plumbers, not from the homeowner. And this is the issue I, I was having and why it took so long. I had to kind of argue with them and everything. So in this county, they don't want investors and house flippers to submit paperwork for permits. Now, that just totally boggles my mind because the city is at the forefront of improvement. They should be working with investors, flippers, whoever they can to do it right. But instead, they're blocking it. And they really should take every opportunity to make this city as good as it possibly can. And they start and that starts with the permit office. So I had to tell the permit office I was going to live in this house. It was my intention to live in this house in the future. Uh, and whether that is true or not, you know, who cares? But I got the permits. They're here. They did the inspection. But the entire time they were giving me attitude. Like they would say things like, this will be the last time you ever get a permit. A family expands and I buy a new house and I do improvements on it. You're going to say no, even if it's like 20 years down the road. You know, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous, the attitude and the uh, bureaucracy in this county. You know, I've had permits pulled in different counties and different states, and there were no problems. They should be working with the owners and basically anybody who was willing to make an improvement and pay the money to do it right. So anyways, I'm in the house and I'm ready to continue on this never ending project. But of course I do have the truck project and now taxes are coming due. So I'm going to do the best I can to stay focused and to get some of these projects done. But I'm not really sure when this house is going to get done. I think tomorrow the cabinets and the countertops are going to go in and the kitchen is going to start looking like a kitchen again. You guys take care and thanks for watching.